So today, Tori is very grumpy. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. You're Tori. He's Garrett. That's true. Welcome back to our channel. Unless it's the first time to our channel, then welcome to your first time to our channel. True. Today, we're gonna show you how to read nutrition labels. I've been reading pretty much my whole life, mostly English, and I know a little bit of Spanish, but what I do know is nutrition labels are really confusing. We are just gonna simplify it for you. We hope. Yep, we're ready. We're going to the grocery store. Hi. Friends. Hi, Hi friends. Hi. Where's I'm our back. other friend? Back. You're needy. You're more needy than the other friend. Yeah. It smells a little like fart in here. And maybe I fart? The car smells a little bit like musty fart. We all fart sometimes, you know? Yeah, but you should roll your windows down every once in a while. Then they but smell. sometimes you like the smell of your own fart. Normally, this is the aisle that we only shop. We're gonna go down some aisles where we can read some labels to you. All right, let's go. There's all these labels that say organic and gluten-free non-GMO. What you want to do is just ignore everything on the front and go straight to the back of the label. Ingredients. What's in the ingredients? If you find something with less ingredients, it's going to be better for you than if it has more ingredients, especially ingredients that you have no idea what they mean. Extra virgin olive oil, basil, fresh garlic, sea salt, cane sugar, spices, California tomatoes. Okay, we're off to a great start. All right, let's do some dressings. Disodium phosphate, sorbic acid, calcium disodium eta. Guanilate, 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 guanilate. What is that? Guanilate. What is that? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Lactic acid, modified food starch. Do you know what any of these are? And it's all in this. Not to mention that one serving size is two tablespoons. I put way more than two tablespoons on any of my salad dressings. Potassium sorbate. What is what is that? Soy lactin. Xanthan gum. Calcium chloride. That's fun. Calcium disodium EDTA. That sounds like a disease one of my friends has, and I'm gonna go visit him in the hospital. That's not something that should be in my dressing. This white balsamic. This has only got like soybean oil, balsamic vinegar, mustard seed, garlic, onion, lemon juice. I know all of these words. Oh. She's speechless. One of these bars has 17 grams of sugar. Just one. So you already exceeded half of your daily recommended dose of sugar in one bar, which is kind of crazy to think about. Fructose, another word for sugar. High fructose corn syrup, another word for sugar. Um, malatol syrup, probably another word for sugar. Mal Dextrin, maltextrin, butter, fat, sodium, citrate, carrageenan. I don't know what any of these ingredients are, to be honest. Why would I eat this? I have no idea what's in here. If you don't want ingredients, one of the best bars that we know of is flour bars. Dates, semi-sweet chocolate chips, which means that they're nice to you, but also they seek revenge. Cashews, sea salt, and that's about it. And all the sugar that's in here is from dates, so it's a lot better. Processed sugar is way harder for your body to break down. Boom. So even though Tori hates this, I'm still addicted to chips. We try to eat really healthy, and she wants me to eat carrots, but I eat a lot of chips. So what I look for in chips, fiber. Fiber is how long it takes your body to break down those items. So I look for a good fiber to calorie ratio. Since on this, it's 130 and two grams of fiber. If I could find something with like four grams of fiber and 130 calories, that's way better. It means your body will break it down more and you won't store it as fat. Get more fibrous things. Please, they're better for you. We're dancing out, we're dancing out. Yeah. Why are you so happy? You didn't even buy anything. <laughs> recap. Have we capped yet though? Hmm? How can you have a recap if you haven't capped? Recap! The main takeaways. Ingredients matter. We don't buy a lot of stuff with labels. Mostly we're produce people. Try and find chips with high fiber to calorie ratios. If you're going to buy something that has a label, read the ingredients first. See what's on there. Is there anything that you don't recognize? Less ingredients means mo better. Yes. If you can make it from scratch, that's way better. I always try to make my own dressings. Sometimes she just buys lime juice, agave, and balsamic and combines them, and it's one of the best dressings ever. No preservatives, no weird stuff we can't pronounce. 
There's so much sugar, added sugar in our food that we don't need and it has become addicting. Literally addicting. If you can avoid getting processed sugars and you can get stuff like sugar from dates or from natural ingredients or agave like a plant, that's way better than having processed. Thank you for watching. Hope you like our channels. If you like us doing this stuff and failing at yoga and going grocery shopping and things like that, maybe you'll like some of our other videos. So hit subscribe if you know it's good for you. And also don't forget to like this video. I love you. I love you. Your hands are very cold. I didn't sign up for this. EDTA. You guys are cute as Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> very cute.